Dominic, you've got something exciting to tell me, something that's happening here at Matsura over the summer. Tell me and our audience. I will do. Welcome back, Paul. It's always nice to see you, obviously, here at Matsura. So, so we're having an open house um, in July, 3rd, 4th and 5th of July. Um, and it's the first time since pre-COVID, 2019 was our last actual open house that was what I would call an open house where we weren't restricted on people coming in and watching obviously social distancing. So obviously with the addition of the additive um, AMC next door which is all part of our facility where we've got a whole showcase of additive products we've got obviously the subtractive side so the CNC and the AM. I mean you go to a lot of exhibitions and you exhibit the kit that we can see here but nothing's quite like coming here is it? I mean there's such a selection of of machinery, I mean, t tell us what's changed in that five years and what you've got and what people can see if they come here. Well, as you can see behind us, um, you know, we've got all the MAM series set up. We've got the MX machines. We've now behind me, we've got the, the Muratech, which I think we've spoken again, we did talk about at the, uh, at the MAM. Turning centres. So turning centres, automated turning centres, which has become a big, big sort of growth in our business. And, and obviously the additive, you know, additive now represents 25% of our turnover. Um, you know, it's a, it's a new business for us, you know, within the six years. And, you know, we're, we, you know, we're printing plastic, metals, um, we're, we're, we're colouring, we're cleaning, we're, we're surface treating. So the whole, the whole work piece flow in additive. And I think your market has broadened massively in that five year period, hasn't it? With some of the machines that you've introduced, where you're now, now able to put them. Oh, exactly. So you know, when we you know we've always focused on the multi pallet multi tool, and the automation. But you know, we've elaborate. You know, we've grown that sort of elaborated on that theme with the Muratech, which is obviously automated with the gantries and the work stackers and bar feeding. So when you look at the whole portfolio of all the products we sell, you know, from three D printing to five axis multi pallet machining, you know, there's there's a lot to see, and you know. <laughs> At Mac, we couldn't put everything on the stand. You know, I think we had a, a nice stand, two nice stands actually, but there's a lot more machines that we couldn't put on the stand that we've now got on show here at Carlville. And I think if someone comes here, they can spend the whole day here, can't they? Oh, you know, absolutely. It's not, it's not like being at an exhibition where you're trying to get from one stand to another. You can spend the whole day here, explore the technology. It goes beyond, beyond the machines as well though, Dom, doesn't it? It's something that you wanted to uh, put across about this event. Yeah, so something that we're doing that we've never done before is that we're opening the doors to it, to our customers to donate for charity. Dave Edwards, who's obviously one of our retired directors of the business, was with us for a very, very long time, you know, spanning three decades with the company, sadly had a stroke back in January. Um, he's doing well, he's on the road to recovery, um, obviously with the rehab, but the, the Stroke Association has been very good and they still are being very good to Dave. So we're we're opening up a Just Giving page, we're, we're asking customers to donate um, and obviously to donate any gifts and whatever we raise we'll be looking to obviously double that contribution throughout, throughout, the, throughout the open now. What a brilliant message and we'll obviously be assisting that and contributing as well Dom. Um, finally, uh, when is this event happening that people can or start uh, getting excited about right, this? Okay, thing? so the 3rd, the 4th and the 5th of July.